Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Tara, and I am here to do a reading for water signs. I just said that. No, no I didn't, but anyway, I'm here to do a reading for water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, This is for the mid-month. So this is for from August the 16th to the 31st. So water signs, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. This reading can manifest um, in mid monthly in August. It can manifest later on down the line of time after August. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, word of signs, I got one message for you doing a pre shuffle, and something could be going on with a honeymoon. So what if like, y'all could be on y'all honeymoon mid-August or you could be planning for a honeymoon or what are signs um, you could be in like an event planner regarding a honeymoon or something or you could be attending or the uh, in attendance concerning somebody else's honeymoon or something like that or this is your honeymoon. I also heard that honeymoon could be in any phase, any arena in life. So, what are signs you can be in your honeymoon phase concerning your career? Like, you have a new job, everything going good, you're new there, everything is fine. Or this is in love and romance or um, parenting, any arena in life. Y'all could just be in the honeymoon phase. Or y'all literally doing something regarding a honeymoon. Regarding, like, a wedding or marriage or something. So, that was the message that I got. Um... So let me get into the reading. So for the um display cards, I'm using this deck. Just this deck right here for the display cards. So what are signs? I'm gonna see positive changes that you can expect or should expect mid mid August. So what positive changes can water signs expect? It came out in reverse. I'm gonna take it. Join in. So what are signs? A positive change that you can expect is somebody that that's not supposed to join in or that you didn't want to join in. This person might not join in or you're not going to join in. So I'm hearing what are signs? Something might ex unexpectedly go your way and it's positive changes for you or something is going to go the way that it's supposed to go. So what are signs? You or somebody else don't want to join in or should not join into whatever this is and it's not going to happen so some type of joining in is not going to happen and that's positive changes for you so all right so let me put y'all angel answer all right what is um water signs angel anthem for May August? And then I did I say it was for August the 16th to the 31st? What's big happy changes? Yeah, big happy changes. For some of y'all, this change is temporary. The change, the positive change is might be temporary. So y'all might experience some type of delay. For the better. So big happy change. Big positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new career path. Entering a new relationship. Or moving to a new home or city. Embrace the, these exciting events. Knowing that your angels will be will be beside you all the way. What are signs? Y'all can have earth in your birth chart as well. Are you dealing with an earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What you are asking about may require you to take leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These options would not have presented themselves unless you were unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. All right. All right. So what's water signs advice? For May, August. What is water signs advice? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Balance. All right. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So, water signs. Spirit wants you to bring a state 
I heard accept something. Spirit wants you to accept something for what it is. Um, Spirit wants you to bring a state of perfect harmony into your world and do so without judgment. So, word of signs. I'm picking up something might happen for you unexpectedly. And you might not see the blessing in it. But if you do something without judgment, give something time and you're going to see something. You're going to see the blessing in like a delay or something getting switched around or re or adjusted or something. So um, I'm kind of picking up on an energy where the scriptures say lean not on your own understanding. So um, do something without judgment. Um, what a sign. Spirit wants you to be at peace about something. So y'all might have to readjust to something. So what a sign. For some of y'all, I'm going to give y'all an example. What a sign. Say like you going to work mid-August and your boss unexpectedly tell you, oh, you're not working on this floor no more. You got to go downstairs. You're working downstairs. It's like what a sign. Y'all might get offended. But little do you know, you might be tempted to argue with your boss or um, try to compromise with your boss or convince your boss to change their mind. But it's like, what a sign is little do you know, it's like it's a blessing for you on a different floor. Like you being on like a different floor, wherever your boss puts you, that's where you might meet your twin or your spouse or something like that. Or you might unexpectedly get a raise or something like that. So, Spirit wants you to, like, accept something. So, if you go into work one day, the second half of August, and your boss say, oh, you're not working up here no more. You got to go downstairs or you going upstairs. It's like, word of science, accept something. Don't try to argue or um, convince somebody to change their mind. Do something without a judgment. So, it's like, word of science, if your boss say, you, you know, you going upstairs or you got to go downstairs. Word of science say, oh, wow, okay. All right, like some like spirit wants you to accept them, accept something, but it, it the the change might be unexpected a little bit. So spirit wants you to bring a state of perfect harmony into your world and do so without judgment. So don't prejudge a situation. Just write it out or go with the flow or something like that. So spirit wants you to balance or remain balanced. I just heard that remain balanced. Oops. All right. What is the guys? Um, what's the message from the guys for water signs? What is the message from the guys for water signs? Oh, water signs. Y'all can have Gemini in your birth chart. These two cards came out. So we have journey with that. Journey with that. Appreciate your talent. What a sign. See, y'all might get separated from somebody. What a sign. Somebody else needs to be alone. And when this, when you get separated from this person, what a sign. Spirit is going to um, show you how to appreciate your talents. So y'all might get separated. It could be from a co-worker, a lover. Um, what a sign. You might get separated from somebody or Virgo. Or somebody might ghost you. And it's for a reason because Spirit wants you to appreciate something. Appreciate your talents. So somebody else might have to journey within. What a science for some of y'all. Um, you're going to be separated from somebody, or somebody going to ghost you or something. But it's because the the guys want you to appreciate your talents. So what a science y'all could have had a critic around you. This person could have been a Virgo. Don't have to be. But what a science someone was very critical around you. And because of this person's criticism, you were unable to appreciate your talents. Or I heard word of signs, you're going to grow through the concrete. So in spite of somebody's criticism, you're still going to grow or appreciate your talents. Yeah, so it could have took a hardship for you to appreciate your talents. Or some type of harsh criticism or something like that. For you to appreciate something. Your talent or something like that. All right. What, what's the guy's message? What the signs? Y'all could have been dealing with a Gemini or Virgo or y'all have Gemini or Virgo placement. Yeah, learn from your mistakes. Yeah. And what the signs? This is not nothing bad. What the signs? You could have been numbing yourself down. 
And you're going to learn not to ever do that again. Or like, but trust your own intuition or something. Y'all going to learn a karmic lesson, but it's not nothing bad. It's not like a, uh, it's not nothing negative. Yeah, learn from your mistakes. Well, this is you guys figuring out somebody was y'all enemy and not y'all friend or something like that. Y'all might figure that out too. This could just be somebody learning it uh, from a mistake. So I'm going to give an example. You know how the people say, uh, sometimes you get what you give. So what a sign. Say like you went and you purchased something and you paid $20 for, for it. And it's like when you got home, it ripped. But it's like when you was at the store, you had an option. You could have either bought the $20 shirt or you could have bought the $60 shirt. It's just something something like that. It's like somebody might learn like a common life lesson. Like learn from your mistakes or something. Or this is like somebody saying, I will never date off anybody offline again or... I will never allow somebody I don't know to come to my home or something. It's a I heard it's a common uh a common uh life lesson. Very something very common. Or something like that. All right, give me a message for water sign. So spirit wants y'all to learn from your mistakes. Yeah, something going on with the pregnancy. Someone is expecting. This came out sideways, and I'm going to take it like that. Um. So, what are signs? This could be you or somebody else. Somebody is expecting. These mistakes could be sexual. Somebody could be experiencing an unplanned pregnancy or something like that. Some of y'all be careful. Somebody might experience like a tubal, uh, what you call it, a tubal, a tubal pregnancy. Like the baby might get stuck in somebody's tubes or something. Or somebody is going to have a pregnancy scare. But it's like you might not be pregnant. Somebody might not be pregnant. So what a sign is this could be you. The first, the second half of August, you have an unprotected sex. And then you think you're pregnant. Some of y'all going to be pregnant. Some of y'all not. But spirit is telling you to learn from your mistakes. Or something like that. It's like y'all could have been worried. Like y'all was y'all could have been worried because it's like maybe y'all keep having unprotected sex or something like that i heard too what are signs for some of y'all you have an open relationship and spirit gonna tell you to tighten it up because maybe your spouse keep going off and getting people pregnant or what are signs your spouse keep going off and getting pregnant by other people so y'all need to stop playing around and and make your relationship more tight knit like yeah, learn from your mistakes about having like an open relationship. I heard that too. For somebody. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So somebody might find out they're not pregnant and might just decide to get a pet. Yeah, or something like that. So what are signs? You or somebody else, or what are signs if you experience like a like a miscarriage or something, your spouse might go off and buy you a gift. They might buy you a pet. If you experience like a miscarriage or something like that. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Yeah. going on with animals mercury retrograde yeah so what are signs for some of you guys i think we're in mercury retrograde as well i, I believe and what are signs y'all can be in y'all feelings or y'all might be very nostalgic what are signs i'm also picking up you might think you're pregnant because of mercury retrograde because for the most part mercury retrograde can put you in a six of cups energy and the six of cups is um being nostalgic or somebody want to be loved or shown affection or 
Well, this time it's the second half of August, you might want to start dating again, or you might desire to, uh, the need to get pregnant or have intimacy or something like that. It's like you want to give love. Y'all could be very emotional um, in y'all feelings that water energy, the six of cups. Or reminiscing because it's Mercury retrograde. I also heard um, word of science for some of y'all, y'all going to be re reminiscing about your childhood. And maybe when you was a child, you remember your mother being pregnant and you had a pet. You had a pet when your mom or something was pregnant. Or when you was a child, you remember your mother and father fighting over another woman. Yo, maybe your dad got another woman pregnant. And something going on with a pet or something. What are signs? I'm hearing for some of you guys, you qualify for a service animal. Or a pet because of something that could have happened in your childhood. Something to do with a pregnancy. Or what it says, maybe you could have got pregnant very young. Or you became a father very young. Something traumatizing could have happened in somebody's childhood or something. And they qualify for a service animal. Or what it signs, you might have to hold tight. You could be uh, reminiscing about something that traumatic that happened in your life. And water signs, for some of y'all, y'all don't qualify for a service animal. This is just retrograde. Retrograde got y'all in y'all feelings. And you probably think you're traumatized or you think you have PSD or something like that. And you don't. It could just be Mercury retrograde. And Spirit is saying, if you want a pet, go get a pet. But you don't qualify for a service animal or something. So, y'all might be experiencing electro electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So, y'all could be reviewing everything. Or something like that. What well, a signs for some of y'all, y'all could be reminiscing about um, maybe in the past you were told that you couldn't get pregnant and, and and you got pregnant or something or something. Look, look at the ten of cups or something. All right, what's going on with water signs May August? <sighs> we got the chariot. So what it signs, you could be a cancer, dealing with a cancer, or you got cancer in your birth chart. The cherry could also be some type of victory. So what it signs, y'all could be reminiscing about a past victory or something in, involving a police, something that could have been very traumatic. Or something going on with a vehicle. You got the magician. So we got the Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, of Virgo. What are the signs y'all could be dealing with a Virgo? Or you got Virgo placement, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. And I said that like earlier. I picked up Gemini, Virgo energy. So something could be going on with uh, the Magician. What are the signs you guys could be manifesting? Or y'all going to have to take y'all time doing something. You or somebody else. Well, the signs I also see in mid-August, you might tell somebody to leave you alone. Well, the signs, maybe somebody wanted to manifest with you and you might tell somebody to leave you alone. So, what the signs, for some of y'all, y'all might go somebody. It could be an earth sign, it could be a Virgo, don't have to be. But y'all might go someone. It's like if this person want to manifest, they got to manifest on their own. Or something like that. So what are signs you might not join a Virgo or a Gemini or a Taurus or a Capricorn and manifesting something. Y'all not going to join in. Because you could be off doing something else. You could be the chariot. What are signs, especially if you were Cancer, you're not going to join in. Yeah, somebody could definitely be an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. 
I also see earth signs. Um, somebody want to manifest a family. Earth signs. I mean, water signs. Whether you a male or a female. You going to tell somebody. Go be with so and so. Because I don't want you. Or. Yeah. So water signs. Somebody might come to you. It could be a lover. or uh, ex-lover. And your lover might say. Let's be together. If you don't want to be with me. I'll go make a family with somebody else. And water signs. You going to tell this person. Then go make a family with somebody else. Or something. Or water signs. Somebody want to go into business with you. And you don't want to go into business with this person or something like that. I also see what are signs you might um, give somebody something, then you leaving. It's like what are signs. Say like the magician could be your friend or whoever. And the magician trying to start up a business. It's like water signs. You might donate a little bit of something to the magician. Then you you off doing you. It's like you're not with this person manifesting. But you might donate something. So you might donate like. A hundred dollars to the magician cause. And then it's like you're going to keep it moving. Or something. So water signs. It could be you. Somebody manifesting. But you. You not joining in. So what are signs you don't want to be? Maybe you don't want to be practical. Maybe you're not agreeing with the earth sign or Virgo. So what are signs say like somebody like, man, I'm all about the money or I want a family. I want to settle down. I want to do this. What are signs you like? I don't want to do all that. So you like, what are signs you going to give somebody something, a little bit of something, then you leave it. So what are signs you could be in disagreement with a Gemini or a Virgo or Earth sign? You don't want like ten pentacles or you already got ten pentacles, so you don't want the magician's ten pentacles or something like that. Or you don't you don't want what the magician wants or something like that. Um what are signs if you're a part of this manifestation? It's like you and this magician play different roles. So it's like what are signs you could be investing into the magician to advertise, but you're not advertising. You're going off doing something else. And when you get back to the magician, you're going to say, how did it go? But you're not, you might uh, donate to this advertising or something, but you're not the one manifesting the advertisement. But you had a hand in it a little bit, but you're not putting in the work like that or something like that. Yeah. So what are signs? You could be the chariot. And um y'all can have cancer. Y'all either a cancer sun sign or y'all have cancer placement in y'all birth chart. And y'all dealing with an earth sign. Or water signs, you're being a water sign. It's like you don't want to be in your earth energy. You just want to be a water sign. Yeah. And that's that's okay. Yeah, you probably don't want to be practical and so what are signs? Y'all could be in disagreement with an earth sign. You like no, I'm a water sign. I want to be water <laughs> or something. Yeah. So water signs, it could be an earth sign that's telling you to stop thinking about something or get out your feelings. You like no, <laughs> I gotta get in my feelings. I'm a, yeah something. Somebody could be telling you to get out your feelings or something. Yeah. So what it's like, maybe you just don't want to be practical, and that's fine. Yeah. It's like what it's like, you probably want to manifest love. Or you want to go see a family member, or you want to go see your spouse. And the magician like, man, come to work. Come to work. And what it's like, you like, no, I want to go check up on my family or my spouse or something. And the magician like, man, you better come to work. And what it's like, you like, no. Nah. You might give somebody some hush money or something and tell somebody to be quiet. <laughs> Or uh, something. So it's like, what a sign. Somebody else want to be practical or they want to manifest money or something practical. And you like, no, I want to manifest something water, some water. I want to manifest love. I don't want to manifest. Uh, 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 this could even be somebody trying to get you to open up like a savings account. And what a sign. You like, no, I don't want to do that. I'll do that later. Or something. 
Somebody wants you to do something. You're like, no. So what is signs? The, the magician is manifesting ten pentacles and you doing something regarding ten cups. Or something like that. I also heard documents. So what are signs? I also see if you're in cahoots or you're, you're working with the magician. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles as a contract. What are signs? You have to go pick up somebody. It could be your spouse or a family member. You're going to pick somebody up because they have to sign this contract as well that the, man, that the magician is manifesting. Some type of contract. So you're going to pick somebody up in the car or something. It could also be like an arrest warrant going on as well. The chariot could be the police. And the, the magician could be a judge. And somebody manifested like an arrest warrant. What well, a sign. Somebody could be uh, setting somebody up illegally or legally. And what a sign. You don't want nothing to do with it. You don't want nothing to do with it. So what a sign. I'm going to give you an example of what's going on. What are signs? This is like your mother and your father getting into it. And um, what are signs? It's like, or like one, it, something, something. It's like, what are signs? Somebody like, call the cops, call the cops on so and so. What are signs? You like, no, I don't want to do that. Or something. What are signs? Somebody could be trying to put you in the middle of something. It could be a married couple. Or this could be like your mother and father. They could be fighting or something. Or, um, it's like, what are signs? You want to stay out of it. You don't want to do this. You're not calling the cops. Um, yeah, you just don't want to do that. Or something like that. Yeah, something. Yeah, what are signs? You're not going to join in. And it's best that you didn't. Something is best that you didn't. Or somebody wants you to tell on your spouse or tell on your family member. And you're like, no. Something. Yeah. So what are signs? I'm also picking up whatever type of drama is going on in your love life or with your spouse or your family. Something you did in the past, uh, what are signs you learned not to get involved. So the second half of August, what are signs y'all not going to get involved in whatever this is. It could be your spouse fighting with their family or is your family fighting and in the past, you gave your opinion or you did something. What are signs you not doing that in the second half of August? You might stay out of something. Like if you and your spouse get into it or your spouse and their family get into it or your family members get into it, you're going to stay out of it. I see that too going on. Yeah, so you learn from your mistakes. So what are signs? Something that happened in the past is coming back up. Something that happened or something. It could have been a family fight or... Um, something like that. And what a sign is like, you might decide not to stay out of it. Yeah. I also heard what a sign you might warn somebody as well. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. What a sign, what you might do the second half of August is warn somebody and keep it moving. You gonna warn this person. So I heard that the page of pentacles could be a warning. So somebody's trying to manifest something in water signs, you might just warn somebody and be like, I, I got to go. I'm trying to tell you not to do it, but I'll see you later. Or something like that. So water signs, you might give off like a little warning or something. Some type of warning. You're not going to be get all emotional and out of whack about something, but you might warn somebody about something. Because you learn from your mistakes to stay out of something or something. What are signs for some of y'all, you can have some a set of friends and they're married. Or somebody in your family married. And what are signs you ain't getting in the middle? Mm -mm. Or something like that. Yeah, something. So, what are signs? This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And water signs, um, enjoy the remainder of August and thanks.